Good morning, welcome back. So this morning I've come back round to Coniston. I was here a couple of weeks back, I think it was, went up the old man and it was absolutely tipping it down. Really, <laughs> really bad weather that day. Uh, but today I'm, I've decided to do something a little different. Initially, at the end of my last video, I was thinking to do the Yorkshire Three Peaks. I was having a chat, someone DM'd me, Trail Jamie, you sowed the seed in my mind to do a series of recce runs for the Lakeland 100, which is taking place in July of this year. I had actually thought to do something like this before. I wasn't sure whether to do the Lakeland 100 or the Lakeland Trails 100K, because uh, I'm actually running that race. But I thought, you know, I actually want to do the Lakeland 100. However, I didn't get a spot. I did enter the ballot, but I failed or I was unsuccessful. So I thought, you know what? I'm just gonna do a series of recce runs for this route. Having chatted to you, uh, Jamie, I thought, you know what? I'm just gonna do it sooner rather than later. So here we are. So Coniston is the start and finish of the 100. I was in work yesterday and I was doing a bit of a Google search and I came across the, the route card or the foldy as it is. Here. This is actually a PDF document that's A3 size, however, my, uh, the work printer only does A4. <laughs> and it's really, it's really small writing, I can hardly read it. So I'm just going to do the first leg of this route, which is from Coniston John Ruskin School, which is the start, to checkpoint one, which is over in Seathwaite at the parish rooms. It's, uh, it's the Seathwaite Town Hall. It's a small building. Uh, I did Google map it yesterday, uh, so I should get it right. F I mean, full disclosure, I've never run this route. Like I said, I, uh, I have entered it, but I haven't actually got a spot for this year, 2023. However, this route card is from last year, 2022. So I'm just gonna go off this. The first leg is seven miles. Ideally, I'd like to do further multiple checkpoints in each video however uh, I'm going to have to do uh, an out and back route basically because I need to get back to the car yeah I don't really like if I'm honest I don't really like doing out and back routes I don't like covering ground I've already run however from this point of view I guess uh, I'd really I'll really get to know the route both both ways basically clockwise and anti-clockwise these videos no doubt will be short short single leg or at most double leg uh, sections because I've got to go out, turn around and then come back. This first leg's seven miles, so obviously this run's gonna be around about 14 miles. So I should imagine there'll be quite a few of these videos. I've got to cover 100 miles. And of course, I'll be doubling that because I'll be coming back. So in total, it'll be a 200 mile kind of thing. As to how often I'll do them, I'll do them as regularly as I can to make it more kind of followable, fo followable, followable, follow, followable. Is that even a word, followable? So by, uh, by March, April time, I'll have the whole route done. And then of course, anyone who's going to be running the route in July will have more of a collection to make their way through. I'll also try and make it as close to this route card as possible. So you can follow along. You can print off this route card, just go to the website, go to the Lakeland, Montane Lakeland 100 website and the route cards there basically. And I shouldn't, I should imagine it will be very similar this year as it was last year. Of course, there will be differences. I don't know what they'll be, of course, because I have absolutely nothing to do with this race. So this is future Don just interrupting past John, because I think he's kind of forgotten to actually give you some prominent waypoints to follow on the map. So I'm just gonna go through a few now. First of all, it's the school in Coniston. Then from there, heading up to the Miner's Bridge. And then from the Miner's Bridge, it's up to the next major change of direction, which is the left, on a track junction. And from that track junction, it's downhill to Walnuscar Car Park. And then from there, that's another change of direction, hooking a right, and you're heading up Walnuscar Road, all the way up to the pass. And then over the pass, down the other side, towards Long House, and Hollins House Hall. That's H-A-W, not W-H-O-R-E. <laughs> oh, I'm so funny. And then down to the next point is a road junction where the small 
track meets the larger track, and then all the way down the road towards Seathwaite Town Hall, which is in the parish room. Right, let's carry on. I'll let, I'll let past John now. Past John get on with the rest of what he was telling you about, which future John's forgotten what he was talking about, if he's totally honest. I'm just doing this because I like running, and I want to run this race, so I'm just going to do it off my own back as a recce collection of recce routes basically so yeah so that's what we're going to do that's what we're doing today so today should be around about four to five hour run yeah i hope you like it right i'm gonna get ready let's go so this is john ruskin's school the start of the race and uh and up there you can see the old man of constant in all its glory uh we've had a pretty good uh fall of snow up there but of course i'm not going up there today the lakeland 100 doesn't take in any big summits from what i've seen on the map recce that i've done uh, so we'll, we won't be going up there today but i'm guessing you go out that exit there, everybody runs out there. So looking at the route card, you can see number one there. I think it's good. Or oh, the first thing of prominence is the Miner's Bridge. So we're gonna head up there now. Right, let's go. Miners Bridge. Um, I should imagine the gate will be open on race day, no doubt, and there'll be someone up here manning the gate, I'm presuming. And then the path goes up here, right up this track. Next major change of direction is up the hill and take a left onto the path that takes you down to Walnascar Car Park. And then there we take a right onto Walnascar Road and head up to Walnascar Pass. So yeah, that's what we're gonna do now. next major change in direction which is Walnascar car park so yeah to go off the route card at number four here uh, turn right at Walnascar car park keep right on tracks between two wooden posts and basically follow Walnascar road and continue on clear stony track so we're we going to do that all the way up to Walnascar pass and then once we're over the pass it's number five straight on downhill continue down through gate following Long House Gill. So that will be the next spot. All right, let's go. We're up on Walnascar Pass here. As you can see, the clag's in, 
and there's a bit of uh, treacherous ice. The uh, the morning dew is frozen and uh, and it's deceptively slippy up here. So I might slip on my micro spikes and just run in those on the way down. So let's have a look at the route card. Number four there, uh, continue on track to summit of Walnaskar Pass, which is where we are now. Number five, straight downhill, continue down through gate, following Longhouse Gill, through Gap in Wall, and next prominent spot is and past White House, brackets Beck House and High Hollin House. Having not run this route and having forgotten to check on Google when the route actually, when the race actually starts, if it's in the middle of the night, you won't be seeing any of this. And, and let's be honest, if you look at it now, there's not much to see. Yeah, so uh, getting a little chilly. So I'm gonna crack on, slip on these micro spikes and then get off this hill. Let's get going. So yeah, Seathwaite Parish Room, checkpoint one. We've made it. So uh, let's have a look at the route card. So the route card said turn left at the road junction, which uh, you saw, that road junction back there. Uh, go past Turner Hall Farm campsite, which is what we did. The church is on the left, which is literally just there. And checkpoint wait, checkpoint one, Seathwaite Village Hall, the parish room, which is this place. So yeah. Uh, turn around and go back now pretty much You've got to cover the same ground i uh i've actually which you may have saw seen at the beginning of this little video is i've put gonna put my garmin on a lanyard i cut the wrist strap and the cat's poured it in there mainly because the strap on my wrist over time restricts a bit uh, restricts the blood flow and my hand gets cold so yeah, I thought, you know what, simple solution, have it on a lanyard, which is what I got. On. But here we go, see that? 8.46 meters, meters, miles. <laughs> oh, 8.47 now. So I gotta turn around, go back to the car. Um, unfortunately, I think, yeah, obviously I can't do more than one leg at a time. Otherwise, they're gonna be really long days. I could, I, I was toying with the idea of doing a kind of fast pack and do multiple checkpoints that way. But I like the idea of running it as opposed to fast packing it and uh, overnight camping. I think it's just gonna be short one leg videos, I'm afraid. 
Uh, I, might, I might be able to squeeze in two legs depending on how, how strong I'm feeling. So what we're gonna do, what I'm gonna do now, so yeah, gonna have a spot of lunch and then we're gonna go back. Um, I can't imagine I'll be doing much filming. I'm just gonna push it out. You've seen the meat of this video is basically this leg in this direction clockwise, basically. So there's not a lot of point seeing counterclockwise, anticlockwise. I'll throw a few, a f I'll throw a flute. <laughs> I will, I will throw, oh my God, I can't speak. I'll throw a few clips in just to tidy up this video. But yeah, I'm gonna have a spot of lunch and then we're gonna head back to the car. So yeah, like I said, I've gotta head back now. Not entirely sure how much uh, vlogging I'll do. I'll probably just bomb it up bomb it up i'll probably just bang it out head back as quickly as i can now so about eight miles to get here kind of just presuming it's going to be eight miles to get back uh, yeah doing it anti-clockwise now i wonder if there's much scope i wonder if anyone's thought to do the challenge of doing it one way turning around and doing it the other it's a bit cheeky i mean obviously i've i've never done this run so i don't know what the start's like so i'm uh, just imagine it's an absolute gaggle, a big gang of gaggling ultra runners at the beginning. And uh, it's a bit of a cheeky ascent as you're coming out of uh, Coniston, heading up the hill there. Um, do you run it? Would you just power walk it? Do you just try and get out in front of the pack? What do you do? Who knows? I mean, I'm guessing for a hundred miler, you want to be pacing yourself <laughs> and taking it easy. So yeah, anyway, it's a bit chilly now. Yeah, so just going to push it back now, yeah. Let's get on with it. Oh my word, that was cheeky. Should all be downhill to the car now. Oh, bliss. <laughs> right, we're going down here. Last push. So that's today's run done. The first leg of the Lakeland 100 from Coniston, the school in Coniston, John Ruskin School, <laughs> over to Seathwaite. On the route card it says seven miles, but uh, GPS said uh, eight. So yeah, yes, yeah, so the plan is to have the whole course finished by the end of April, end of April, April, May, basically. So then if uh, any of you lot are running it, uh, you'll have uh, some sort of reference. If you haven't run it, of course, before, and you haven't done any of the recce's that, uh, that they organize for this race. But uh, yeah, anyway, plus it gets me out of the house. <laughs> cool, well, I hope you enjoyed that. And um, I'm not sure my next video will be leg two, but then it might be, I'm not sure yet. So we'll see, we'll see what happens. Anyway, I uh, hope you enjoyed that. And yeah, until the next video.